Hello again. Today is June 20th, and I'm very excited about some of the things that are going to be taking place in our church and uh, in our ministry this next couple of weeks. Uh, these are unique times, and we're trying to use them for good and to honor God and to be a good testimony. And I appreciate everybody being here for these parking lot services, and especially last week, I know it was a great, great day. Well, in my mind, uh, I am reminded in Exodus chapter 14, the Bible says, And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel that they turn and encamp before Pihahiroth, between Migdol and the sea, over against Baal Zephon, before it shall encamp by the sea. For Pharaoh will say of the children of Israel, They are entangled in the land. The wilderness has shut them in. And so Pharaoh, when he saw the Israelites, said, these people are stuck. They're not going to go anywhere. Uh, they're just constantly have the mind of a victim, and they're not going to do anything. And the Bible says then in verse 15, And the Lord said unto Moses, Wherefore criest thou unto, the, unto me? Speak unto the children of Israel that they go forward. In this case, the devil's people said, Well, those folks, they're not going to do anything. But God said, No, go forward. And I remember years ago my pastor saying, sometimes you can't run, but you can always take a step forward. You can always take one step more than you've been doing. And that's what we're going to do this coming week. Tomorrow will be our last uh, parking lot service, and it's been exciting. It's been a unique time, and I appreciate everybody working with us and uh, being flexible and understanding that that is the best that we could do uh, while maintaining uh, safety standards. Uh, next Sunday, on June 28th, uh, we will be, uh, again, starting our regular uh, services in the building. And I'm going to give you a little bit of an overview so that you can be praying about this week because I want everybody to make their own decision. I don't want anyone to feel obligated to be in our building. If you feel more comfortable watching online, that's fine. Uh, but on June 28th, which is about eight days away, we will be making some steps forward. And I just want to run through very quickly. Next Saturday, I'll give you more details, but uh, we've been discussing all the safety uh, precautions we'll be taking on June 28th. We're going to be temperature checking everybody that enters the building. Anyone off the platform has to wear a mask. I will be moving the pulpit back on the platform. There'll be a minimum, minimum of 12 feet of space between myself, because obviously I won't be wearing a mask. I won't be able to, between myself and the first pew. We will also be creating a negative airflow, so the air will actually be moving from the congregation towards me, and I think that'll also, uh, you know, keep folks from um, any uh, safety concerns. In the bathrooms, we will not be using the air dryers, we'll be using paper towels. We will be uh, sanitizing the bathrooms after every use. We will be running the air sanitizers we have in our building, which are uh, very useful. We'll also be fogging the building between services. We have a professional fogger. We're using a disinfectant called Lemoside uh, by Total Solution. It's environmentally safe. It's used in hospitals, nursing homes, and nurseries for the COVID-19 issue. We'll be using that chemical in our building, obviously, before every service. And uh, our building will be as clean as a hospital. Our ushers will be uh, walking people to their seats. We'll be socially distancing in the church. Uh, and then, of course, dismissing as well in a responsible fashion. The tithes and offerings will be uh, given through a locked box in the back of the building. As you enter the building or as you leave the building, we won't be passing plates. Our hymnals will be sanitized as well. Uh, next Sunday, you'll need to make a reservation for 11 o'clock or Sunday night or Wednesday night. On June 28th, which is next Sunday, not tomorrow, but next Sunday, we'll be having three Sunday morning services. The reason for that is that we're going to limit the number of people in our building. and. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to space out everybody uh, for those three services instead of the Sunday morning service. Obviously, we're not going to have nursery or Sunday school or bus ministry right now. So uh, for the 11 o'clock service next Sunday and Sunday night and Wednesday night, you'll have to make a reservation with Brother Roubaix, and I'll give you that number next week. Um, we will have the downstairs as well uh, available for you to be seated with your family. We'll have closed circuit TV downstairs in the fellowship hall. And so you can choose to sit upstairs with your family or downstairs. I do suggest if you have small babies or small children that make noise, you use the downstairs. Uh, you will have the Sunday school rooms open, the fellowship hall open, and um, I think that'll be a step in the right direction. But families will be seated all together. Like I said, we will not have a nursery or Sunday school. And uh, then 
Uh, next Sunday, on June 28th, we'll also start our Spanish Sunday School. That'll be the only Sunday School that's going to be meeting at 10 o'clock in the Adult Sunday School Department. Face coverings will be required, and uh, Brother Klaus will be leading that. But it's exciting. I would like to ask you to pray uh, for this week as we prepare things. When you come in the building, you're going to see a lot of improvements. We have a new um, PA balcony that I think you'll uh, really uh, uh, enjoy seeing. It's going to improve our live streaming and and uh, everything that we're doing. We've got a lot of new lighting. We've got a new security and usher station uh, that used to be the old PA room that Brother Rene and Brother Ube have been working very hard on. And uh, we have just a lot of improvements in the building we've been making the last two months. And I do want you to pray this week for our church for safety. And I do want you to pray about which a service you'd like to attend. The nine o'clock service will be for high-risk people, elderly people, anybody with a health condition. I suggest you come to the 9 a.m. service. Uh, that'll be the first service of the morning. Everything will be sanitized, as I said, and that'll be the best for you. You don't have to make a reservation for that. 11 o'clock service will be probably the main service. You will have to make a reservation for uh, a seat for that service, and we will have a cap at 11 o'clock. Two o'clock service, again, is gonna be available to you as well. It'll be the same sermon next week, uh, nine o'clock, 11 o'clock, and two o'clock. And then the Sunday service, uh, Sunday night service at 6.30, you'll have to make a reservation for it. That'll be a different sermon. Uh, but I'm excited. I'm looking forward to seeing you all again in person. Um, again, we will have to be very stringent with the rules because they'll be inside the building next Sunday. But uh, I've enjoyed um, the parking lot service. That's going to be our last service tomorrow morning. I'll see you at 11. And God bless you. Thank you so much for praying for our church and for our safety. And uh, we will continue to go forward and see how the Lord directs us. We love you. We'll see you tomorrow. God bless you.